Oceaga 2023, we have found an empty picnic table with Pup. It's it's a picnic with Pup. Here we are. How are you, boys? Yeah, doing all right. Surviving. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got a busy summer. Uh, you've been busy. You've, you've done a whole string of European dates, and you've still got some Canadian dates to go. And here we are at Oceaga, a good old Canadian festival. You looking forward to it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is the ones I've been most excited for. Really? Yeah, we played in 2017. It was awesome. Uh, played it one of the really small stages, the barricade broke. It was really fun. No I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, we've got reinforced barricades this time round. The we stage is a bit bigger this time. Yeah, yeah. we're slowly working up the stages. That's right. <laughs> so Baby steps, you know? Yeah, so let's manifest 2027 20, <laughs> main stage. Let's do it. I like it. <laughs> um, so this year, this October, will mark the 10th anniversary since your debut album. Yeah, it's oh. so wild. <laughs> has that flown by for you guys? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that. Sorry, I'm just flabbergasted. I didn't really realize that. Yeah, yeah. I know. It feels like you, now you need to plan something. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's still a few months away. Yeah, you've got time. But what does it feel like now? Like you know, from from the band you were then to, to now. Like like what's changed? Obviously, everything's changed. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. There are wives and children and pets, and you know, life happens. The nice thing is that I mean, we're all still friends. Like. Stefan and I went to a, did we go to a baseball game this week before we got here yeah were we at a baseball game on Tuesday probably like we still hang out we still you know I, I guess we have a few more people with us when we play a show like this yep uh, and I guess we have to play longer I like that, uh, <laughs> I like that it feels like our band has become more our band than it used to be um, like when you're starting a band you kind of like Especially if it's a band like ours, which is not exactly boxed into one single genre, you're kind of like finding your sound as you go, and definitely it just feels like every year, every tour, every album that passes by, everyone is exerting more of a force of who they really are on this band, and it just feels like that's a nice, uh, it's a nice place for us to be. Yeah, you guys are so versatile. And, um, you know, without asking you what your favorite one genre is to listen to in your own time, what what are some of your favorite genres that you like listening to, like in in your spare time? What are some of your influences? Yeah, I mean, I think it it totally depends, right? Like, uh, I try I try not to listen to anything that that feels like too too close to sort of the world that we're in, uh, just to try and like pull like inspiration or ideas from from like other styles of music stuff like like whether it's like country music or like, like, you know, um, like electronic music and, and like, you know, I, I think, I think that's kind of the nice thing about, um, a lot of our fans and, and sort of the four of us is like, we all, we all have like pretty big ears and we we're lucky to be kind of in a time where, uh, there's a lot of access to music. So yeah, I don't know. You know, I love jazz. Nice. What about you? Stefan? Yeah, I go through phases. I went through a big, just pop music only phase uh, during the pandemic. It was just making me feel good and yeah. I was loving the hooks. I think like uh, I was one of the people who hated pop music for a long time, like pop, pop music, you know? And what I've come to realize, and I would like to say to people who are still like that, is like, there's a reason those songs are at the top of whatever charts. There's something special about them. So I've been... Uh, I, I did a lot of that, and I went through a big uh, hip hop phase for a while, and uh, now I'm in my uh, boy genius era. Oh, nice! Yeah. yeah, nice. Do you remember some of those pop artists just off the top of your head that you were listening to during the pandemic? Yeah, a lot of Carly Rae Jepsen. She's playing right before us today on yeah. the stage next to us, so I'm excited to uh, to watch her. And uh, yeah, just like you know, the basic Taylor Swift stuff. Even like a uh, couple Ed Sheeran songs that I'm like. I hear, you know, you hear in the grocery store and you're like, what is this trash? And you go home and listen to it and you're like, there's, there's something there's there. a reason that yeah. this trash is, was in the grocery yeah. store. You'd say you are in love with the shape of you. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> that uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That Ed, that Ed guys, he's got something. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to make it. Yeah. I we went to yeah. see Maggie Rogers, uh, two nights ago in Toronto. She's great. She's amazing. Uh, yeah, she put on a great show too, so that was nice, yeah. Who does your album artwork? Particularly Unraveling of Pop the Band, because uh, that's absolutely amazing. Un Unraveling is a guy named Jordan, uh, but he goes by the, the handle Beef Strong. Okay. Uh, is he on Instagram? He is on Instagram, oh, under cool. Beef Strong. Beef yeah. Strong. Uh, 
Uh, is yeah. that how you found him? Uh, he, Zach, so Zach, our drummer, um, uh, is like a uh, just like a fan kind of, of of graphic design, and 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 is always sort of like just checking people out. Um, He's our artistic director. Yeah, and so uh, when we started making the record, he was like, "I like this guy. It's kind of this surreal, weird." thing and uh, yeah we loved it it's like uh childish but but also just grotesque like, yeah 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 is that, <laughs> is that i guess that, yeah i mean that sounds like us yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah but we we try and find you know a new artist for for every record and like for try and try and find artists who are interesting to, to do t-shirts and merch like i think that's one of the cool things that we didn't even realize would be a thing when we started the band but mm. like just like uh, how how many people there are doing like really interesting creative kind of graphic design work that that because we have to sell t-shirts and, and make posters and stuff we can get the, we can we can uh, hire those people and, and pay them to, to make cool art we gotta be, give a big shout out though to Nestor and and Zach the other two guys from the band who literally do all of that oh nice so yeah, yeah. they look after all that bit yeah. um, I mean you'll know yourself just from scrolling on streaming like if a, an album artwork like catches your eye you'll just go hmm, I wonder what this is about or who, mm. who that's by so like it is a good way to get noticed as yeah. well I guess um, those new b-sides that you you guys dropped was that like just because you were looking to put out some new music or was it just a kind of stopgap between the, the new record if, if there's one coming or? Uh, yeah both I, I'd say like you know in the past we've made b-sides like we, you know we always record more songs for an album than make the record and in the past, we have not been stoked on those songs. We're barely stoked on most of the songs that make the record sometimes. <laughs> but um, uh, this time around, uh, we really loved, uh, really loved what we managed to do with the album. And, and the B-sides were also songs that we were really proud of. And we just kind of felt like, you know, it's uh, democracy in a band is hard. Some people, those were their favorite songs, you know. Uh, but uh, the album ended up the way the album is, and we're stoked on that. And we just wanted to make sure those three songs saw the saw the light of day. Cause, nice. Uh, yeah, we did work pretty hard on them. Yeah. Well, I'm sure your fans love that, that they get to, to to have them in their collection Thanks. as well. Would you? I mean, we mentioned Taylor Swift earlier. Would you consider that your albums are like their own little eras of of Pup the band? And 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 how how much left have we got of this current era? I mean, I feel like records are all snapshots of of where the people making them are at in the moment that they're being made right like which is my like roundabout verbose way of saying yeah it's our eras uh, no uh <laughs> but i don't know i mean i think like we've always like w wanted to make records that still feel like they reflect who we are as a live band and the last record we allowed ourselves to kind of experiment and go kind of out with like synths and different sort of stuff that like wouldn't necessarily be the first thing you would think of when you think of like two guitars a bass and drums right but uh, we are not big on i don't know like setting kind of like rules on on how we work from a from a creative perspective so who knows just see where it goes i yeah. guess yeah nice i like that though that's a cool way to work it doesn't I, suit everyone but yeah. yeah i think you know like our band as as stefan sort of just said like it the f the four of us have put more of an imprint on the band as the band has progressed uh and that is still the case in in the creative work too so we we've just like you know embraced that and we can't wait to hear what's next before we let you go pup tell us about the next run of dates you've got between now and the end of the year i think there's only around seven or eight left right yeah we're almost done uh we're doing a bunch of dates with snotty nose res kids who are incredible yeah, I encourage everyone who's a fan of hip hop or punk to check that band out. Um, so we'll do a bunch of shows with them and uh, end with uh, Riot Fest in Chicago. And yeah, looking forward to it. It's been a it's been a really wild year and a half. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with iHeartRadio Canada. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>